Hello and welcome to another audio analysis. In today's video we'll be taking a look at the track Bloodshot by the British rock band Enter Shikari. This is the third single to be released from their upcoming album A Kiss for the Whole World which does drop next Friday. We've already seen an interesting taste from the first two tracks they did release in the form of Please Set Me On Fire and It Hurts. The singles also showed an evolution in their style, definitely going for something a bit more melodic in nature and really starting to move further and further away from those heavier elements that incorporated most of their early discography. Despite this though, the band continued to push very serious agendas and even the album title itself, Kiss for the Whole World, does reference this global state that we are in and we've seen many of the tracks, whilst they do reference to other things, always do seem to have this environmental element kind of built within the track. So will this latest track go easy on the eyes or simply leave them bloodshot? Let's take a look at exactly how it sounds. I love how already in the intro we're definitely going back to this Minesweep era kind of styling with the electronics on this track. It's not something we've really seen them play with too much on the first two singles. So again, showing a little bit of a differentiation in style. Also as a quick warning, this will be including some flashing images in this video. So if you are anybody that suffers from epilepsy or anything like that, just do be aware of that. And already we've got this idea pretty much from the lyrics, just this idea of being hypnotized. I mean, it's being repeated constantly, manipulate, hypnotize, and this idea of three, two, one, sleep. So it's almost like you're being put under a spell almost it's almost like the song is leading you in really trying to draw you in and kind of put you under this hypnosis so it can really get something across I really like with these lyrics straight away, it's almost showing this idea of losing the, the idea of authenticity. You're hypnotized into believing different things. And I straight away feel this track is going to look at things such as what these posts you see on social media, these lies that people tell, these stories that people tell that don't have that authenticity to them. Just from that line, I've lost sight of what is real and now you're going under. So you're kind of being put under a spell. And it just the fact that this video is shot as almost it's meant to be watched on a mobile phone, hence why they've got this really weird aspect ratio. So I certainly feel like it's tying that idea of social media, these posts you see where you see these videos of things that aren't actually, they're set up almost, they're not real, they're not real reactions, they can often be just kind of, they're developed to be showing you what you want to see or they, what they want you to see rather than the real picture. I really like as well how we've got these really big bass sounds. It's very blaring, it's very in your face, almost quite distorting as well. So really fitting with that idea of trying to just really draw you into a spell. These kind of sounds work perfectly for that. It just needs to be something that's almost like an assault on the senses. And straight away, I like that it fits in as well with the actual title of the track, Bloodshot, all referencing around your eyes, what you can see. You can only basically base your judgment off what you can actually see. So I really like they're doing that. They're really building the track around this idea. And there's something that Shikari have always done. On. They build such strong lyrics around a theme, around a message they want to show, and they're doing that with this track as well. Just constantly referencing this idea of eyes being bloodshot, being sore, and I like that. And through your lens, the world is an eye. So it's almost like somebody can see the world and it just know that it's not right, but you're hypnotized into believing different things, or you're hypnotized into a kind of having a different perspective of the world from what you should see if you were looking through your own lens and you're actually almost looking through somebody else's. Oh God, I can't Remove all these filters, they're in my field of vision. Now it's compromised. I've lost sight of what is 
And I love more of these lyrics. Oh God, I can't remove all these filters. I mean, it sums up perfectly. How often do we see things on the internet that are filtered, that just aren't real? Again, just firing off this idea of lack of authenticity. Things that are right in front of you that can be lying to you in your face. So the idea of that your field of vision is compromised. I love the way they're just throwing in all these different lyrics, not repetitive lyrics either, revolving around the idea of your vision and how it can be distorted. So really, really smart how they've done that. Have you noticed I'm a hypnotist? So it's almost like playing on these two perspectives with this idea of I am hypnotizing you into believing what I want you to. So again, just showing that idea that it's kind of playing two parts, almost like Enter Shikari, kind of playing the point of both sides where they're playing the hypnotist, but they're also kind of accepting that the world is almost distorted because of the amount of fakeness that is actually in the world. My eyes are And I really love how they've been giving Chris Batten a lot more time on the vocals, really getting him involved more when we see it again with the track. I'm not quite as heavily involved as the other two singles we did see, but still great to see them kind of flipping that, that, that vocal style. It used to be Rory C providing these almost silly vocals, like Rory C, what's your thesis? And now we get seeing Chris really come in and really add a new level to the actual vocals. I know he's always been there doing backing vocals, but they've really got him more at the forefront in certain tracks on this album, it feels, and I really do like that they've done that. My eyes are bloodshot, the blood shot I don't want to lose everything we got this film it won't stop it won't stop <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I actually think that's probably my favourite of the three singles we've heard so far. I really did actually enjoy that. I love the constant references to your eyes, your field of vision, being bloodshot. All very simple things to understand and really for enforcing this idea of a lack of authenticity, which is something that we continually see. I mean, one of the biggest examples I can think of is one of those, those pet videos or those animal videos where someone rescues an animal and it looks like it's really sort of in a bad place and then they nurture it to good health. What you don't realise is that some of those videos are actually shot in reverse and the animal is actually being abused and to that point where they actually are cowering for their life but you only see what the camera shows you and it's that again that lack of authenticity and as cruel as and horrible as it is that's the way that some of those videos are actually shot but you don't often think about it that way it's the idea of trying to open your mind's eye and actually question everything that you see is this real is should this be happening it's almost that thing of if someone gives someone a free prize it's like well why are they doing that you've got to question and show that attitude which most people do don't do they just accept what is in front of them and that's what this song wants to do. it really wants to open your eyes and make you realize that not everything should be taken at face value that is on social media on the internet and i love the way they've shot the music video to reflect that the idea that it should be watched on a phone where you tend to access most of your social media you don't often do it as much maybe on a computer it tends to be when you've got it in your hand and you're just trying to pass on five or ten minutes so the song certainly sets out and achieves what it wants to do and really shows that message very strong through smart lyrics and I love the musical side really showing again more similar things to the mind sweep which really incorporating those electronic elements that little bit more than what we have seen on the previous two tracks and I am very excited to hear this full album next Friday when it does release the all three singles have been extremely strong and the band have continued to show development show this constant adaptation of different styles and different messages and incorporate it into a well-rounded album so I certainly think it's definitely going to be up there in terms of quality but we'll have to wait until next Friday to find out
So that'll be everything for today's video, but please feel free to let me know your thoughts about this track in the comments section below. And as always, if you want to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next Audio Analysis.